Hey there guys, so since I already started uh, a processing series, uh, I think it's only appropriate if I go over a stacking and I know I should have done this uh, earlier but uh, yeah, I guess I didn't spend uh, enough time on uh, thinking and uh, planning everything but yeah, without wasting more of your time let's just uh, jump right in. Okay, so why do we even stack images is probably the most uh, asked question in uh, astrophotography and the answer is just to improve uh, signal to noise ratio which is uh, often referred to as SNR and I'm pretty sure that uh, most of you already know that but for those that are new to astrophotography uh, this is a term that you will uh, hear a lot and if you want to know a bit more about this uh, I'll add uh, a few links to a few different sites uh, in the description of the video. Uh, I highly recommend you to go ahead and uh, take a look at them because uh, they will answer uh, a lot of your questions. But if you just prefer to watch a video, uh, I would highly recommend you to watch uh, Tim's video from Astro Addict. Uh, I think he covers uh, basically everything that you need to know. And Dylan O'Donnell has a very nice video about uh, why we stacked images. Uh, I learned uh, quite a bit from it. So uh, yeah, I would really recommend you to go check uh, those two uh, videos which I'll also link uh, in the description but I think it's probably the best if I just stop talking and uh, show you where and how I uh, stack my images okay so most of the times I like to use uh, Secretor for stacking and I really like this program because it's uh, very easy to use and uh, very fast compared to a deep sky stacker and you can use this program for a variety of uh, different things but today we are going to uh, focus on uh, stacking uh, deep sky uh, images and here let me just open my folder so here I got my RGB images and I just prepared a few so we can go over this quickly. So once I'm in my folder, I will just hit Ctrl and A to select all, to drag and drop the images in the secretor. Here just select star images, hit OK. Now let's go get our calibration frames. So now let's get our darks. Again hit Ctrl A to select all drag and drop them select noise images those are your darks now let's get our flats again control and a just drag and drop it and select vignetting images hit ok now let's select where we want our stacked image to be saved so double click on the output and i'm just going to save it on my desktop give it a name hit save and let me just quickly show you my settings so here i got select uh, align stars and accumulation i left uh, all of the settings uh, as default the only thing that i enable is uh, high dynamic range and that's just by uh, double clicking and that's basically all you have to do in secret tour now the only thing we need to do is uh, hit the start button and uh, the image will start to stack but uh, as soon as uh, this will finish uh, i'll uh, come back Okay, so our image is stacked, now I can close that and here is our stacked image and I just wanted to go quickly over Deep Sky Stacker which is uh, another program that uh, probably most of the astrophotographers use so I will exit Secretor now let me open Deep Sky Stacker and here you can also just drag and drop your frames so again let's go to RGB hit Ctrl and A Let's drop them in, select light frames, hit OK. Next, calibration frames, select flat frames, hit OK. Our darks. And here in Deep Sky Stacker, I'll also use my bias frames. Select offset and bias frames, and again OK. And now I'll just uh, quickly show you my settings. So let's go to register check pictures. Now let's go to stacking parameters. Here I got intersection mode selected. And if you saw the video where I imaged uh, the Tadpoles Nebula, let me just mention that I stacked uh, all of my images from that target and the Deep Sky Stacker. 
so I could uh, enable uh, two time drizzle and basically all that this does is increases the pixel density and usually I don't enable this but uh, I already knew uh, as soon as I saw the first uh, exposures uh, that came in that I'll crop uh, my image uh, quite uh, heavy but uh, be aware that this will uh, heavily increase the file size the best time to use this is uh, if your uh, sensor doesn't have a lot of pixels or if you are really planning to do a big uh, print so this is uh, the perfect time to, uh, to use uh, this option but anyway so now let's go to lights here I have Kappa Sigma clipping selected darks, flats, bias, alignment automatic the file types I want it to be TIFF and now let's go to output and here you just select where you want your stacked image to end up and that's basically it for the settings so I'll hit OK here let's go to recommended settings and here as the name says Deep Sky Stacker will give you some recommended settings which you should check so I'll enable this so if you are stacking H alpha frames uh, you should uh, take care that this is selected but I'm not uh, doing that right now so I'll leave it here I'll use medium basically everywhere and that's pretty much it now here we are done so just hit OK and again hit OK here Deep Sky Stacker will give you some information about stacking so you can uh, check those and uh, when you are done you just uh, hit OK and uh, the images will start to stack and as soon as that will be ready I will show you the comparison between uh, both of those uh, images from a Secretor and Deep Sky Stacker in the Photoshop okay so Deep Sky Stacker is finished too now so let me close it hit no and let me open Photoshop and here let me just mention that if you are going to stack uh, your images in a Deep Sky Stacker first uh, you, you want to do here is to go to image mode and uh, set it to 16 bits and here just select exposure and gamma and hit ok and from here now you can just normally process your image you can see that there is a bit of a difference in uh, the color cast uh, and the both of those images but this is nothing to worry about because uh, now we need to correct the white balance which uh, I'll talk in the next video and I'll also go over uh, calibrating your background but if I hit Control and 1 also here and I don't know if you can see this but I think that Deep Sky Stacker does uh, a slightly better job uh, I think that this image looks uh, just a little bit cleaner but yeah I would highly recommend you to try uh, both of those uh, programs since uh, both of those are free and uh, you can decide uh, which one you like better and uh, if you have uh, any recommendations or questions uh, things that you want me to go over in a future video uh, just let me know in the comments also don't forget uh, some of the links that I put uh, into the description and yeah, I really think that that's about it so I would like to thank you for watching and see you again next time take care bye